Does dexamethasone help with nausea and fatigue from chemotherapy? I recently got asked a question about dexamethasone for chemotherapy and cancer, and I wanted to read that to you and then give you my thoughts on how to respond. And before I do so, make sure you understand that this is not medical advice and that the best information comes from your healthcare team and to always reach out to your doctor from whatever you hear on the internet. So this is what this person said. I'm on four milligrams of dexamethasone for nausea and fatigue for chemotherapy. I cannot bear chemo without it. But my moon face and a hundred other things are happening. I'm on radiation too. Plus I have a huge surgery coming up in August to remove a large tumor in my leg. That gives me about three months to wean off dex before surgery and ending radiation all while on maintenance chemotherapy every three weeks. Thoughts? Well, you are in a very difficult position because cancer is rough. Like there's no perfect answer when it comes to cancer. <sighs> that rhymed. And it's challenging because you have so much going on between the chemotherapy, the side effects, and the radiation, and the surgery. That's a lot taxing your system. And so I really am sorry for all that you're going through. And it's truly best followed up by your oncologist and surgeon to really get a great plan for you. But essentially what you want to do is to minimize your side effects, right? And we want to do anything we can to get you to the lowest effective dose. And so if that means kind of doing a roller coaster of doses over time, where you take a higher dose when you're on the chemotherapy the, every three weeks, and then you slowly taper down to the end before the next one, and then, then you go back up. That's one option. It sounds like you probably don't have a way to get off of the dexamethasone, but potentially switching to a different steroid, like instead of using dexamethasone, you could use prednisone or methylprednisolone. Some of them have a different side effect profile and maybe dexamethasone is the worst for you and these other ones might be better. There's no way to predict that until you try it. And then other medications may help with the nausea, like on Dancitron, which is Zofran, but they sometimes don't work as well as the prednisone for the chemotherapy nausea. One thing I personally had to do was take prednisone and rituximab, which is a form of chemotherapy that's not nearly as toxic as what you're going through. It's more of an immunotherapy. But at the moment that I was personally taking prednisone and chemo and struggling with side effects, nothing in comparison to what you're going through, I'm sure. I had this moment where I was staring at the ceiling and I was really suffering. I was exhausted, the fatigue, the insomnia, it just never ended. The weight gain, I just didn't recognize myself anymore. And suddenly I was laying on my bed trying to take a nap and staring at the ceiling, not able to sleep. And I realized a light bulb. It was like, here's your calling. People on prednisone and dexamethasone and other steroids need a steroid supplement. They need a supplement designed specifically for the side effects. And so I was like, whoa, that surprised me. It really just like, what? This is what I need to do? And so I immediately realized that it wasn't just that prednisone was stealing calcium and vitamin D is causing osteoporosis. That's probably not a huge priority to you compared to all the other side effects. But it's also that prednisone is stealing chromium, which is leading to the moon face and the weight gain and the fat redistribution and the diabetes and on and on. And all of these other nutrients I discovered that prednisone was stealing that are associated with side effects. It was stunning to me to realize that you could link up the nutrients depleted by prednisone with the side effects it was causing. And that if you just give back these nutrients, you can feel so much better again. And so what I did is I figured out exactly which nutrients we needed to replenish, found out what dose we needed to use, and then I found other ingredients to add to the supplement to help it counteract other side effects. So I came up with Neutronized Zone, the first and only supplement for people on prednisone. It's got a morning bottle and a bedtime bottle, and you take two in the morning and two at bedtime, along with prednisone or dexamethasone, and it'll help you reduce your suffering by replenishing the nutrients that are depleted so that you can feel like yourself again. And if you're taking chemotherapy, there's probably 
other nutrients that are being depleted that you need to be replenishing, giving back either through a healthy diet or through supplementation. For example, if one of your chemotherapy drugs is methotrexate, then you need to be replenishing folic acid. And there are other chemotherapy drugs causing dramatic nutrient depletion. So if you replenish all of that, it can really help you feel so much better with your symptoms. And so what you can do is just go to Neutronize.com to get Neutronize today. And it'll help you feel like yourself again while on prednisone. And if you're wondering, can I take it with chemo? There are a few medications I would avoid it with, like tacrolimus. That's an immunosuppressant that can be used usually for transplants. But if you're ever wondering, does it interact with my medications? Just send me an email and fill out my contact form, prednisonepharmacist.com slash contact, and I can check out to see if your drugs interact with any of the ingredients in this to help you feel like yourself again while you're going through this really, really tough situation. And I'm not gonna say that this is gonna cure cancer cause it's not. What I'm saying is that this is going to help you have less symptoms that while you're taking prednisone or I mean dexamethasone, that it's going to minimize how awful you feel, that this is going to help you feel like yourself again. So just go to Neutronize.com to get it today. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.